I would love to see where we are in a thousand years, the shit that we're thinking of, or stories like the egg that we're coming up with. Because think about this, consider this. 3,000 years ago, no, let's take it back even further to whenever the origins of the Bible, whichever was the first religion yeah. with these same stories, the limited knowledge that they had back then to come up with these great stories and allegories, right? You know, we look at it now like, man, I can't really have it. That's not, you know. So imagine in 500 years how intelligent we will be to come up with these fucking stories, these, yeah. these concepts of after like whatever or consciousness, maybe we'll understand consciousness more. Mm. Cause they're really, they're actively trying to figure out consciousness right now. Yeah. They can't. No. Cause it's not a thing. And it, it speaks to what you said before. Because um, it's everything. It's everything. Actually what you said even, it was that we're all, we're kind of like gods. Um, in this story, we are, we are all collectively a, a god in, in formation. And, and you've said before, Mike, that like, we didn't. We weren't made in God's image. We made. God. We made God in our image. Right. That's why God always has or seems to have human-like characteristics mm. and, and features, mm. and is looked at as a guy who's mm. somewhere. In the sky. Um, when it when you know that probably makes no sense. But right. we we've done that to craft an understanding that we can cope with and move forward with, mm -hmm. and that is another unique trait among humans is that right. we can all agree on something, right. or at least a lot of us, and then move right. forward. And that's how right. we build such great things is that we we all come to an agreement that this is called a table and yeah. then now we can move forward and understand that you put things on the table and, right. and that's how it works right yeah it's fascinating too how you're right like we do come to agreement on things and there's so many smart people and really nice people and capable people that will default to like fairy tale like notions of existence you know what i'm saying that's in some religions and, and whatnot yeah I mean, you know, look at like, Christianity. Look at you know all, all the all, of all the religions. You, you know? know what's interesting? It's I I study religion in school, and they have what's called transformation model religions, mm. which are like they're not even religions. They're more we call them religion, but they're philosophies of the East, like Buddhism, yeah. Taoism, all of that stuff. Yeah. And then we have obedience, authority, religions, uh -huh. Judaism, Islam, and Christianity, uh -huh. right? But it's the West, that holy, stern, you know, religious, yeah. you know, obedience. It's all about obedience God, and fear, fear right? Yeah. And if you look at, if you watch the book, the movie um, Book of Eli, mm. have you seen it? Yeah. You seen it? Yeah. It, End was, of the world. it was very t telling because yeah. it was like, you know, all of that energy for that book because they know that that book can control people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, that's the ultimate thing. But... Is that the worst thing in the world? I know. Because here's the thing. Do we want chaos? Or do we I don't want think, order? I don't think... We all have very free-thinking minds. Yeah. But I think we're all very responsible people. I don't think most people can think as freely... And be responsible. And be okay. Yeah. 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 I think people would... I feel like if people... If there was a thing like, you know what? There's no hell. Hmm. I feel like some people will do whatever the fuck they want to do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think people, because I have a notion of a spectrum of being a human. Absolutely. So let's say, let's go back, what is it, 200,000 years when we hopped out the trees, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so the spectrum, the spectrum comes here to all the way to the last 10,000 years we're kind of civilized. So yeah. we're animals, literally, uh, most of Most that. of it. So I feel like there's people way down here still. Oh, yeah. That are yeah. not really, Definitely. they're not embarrassed about weird shit. Definitely. And, because if you really think about the basic things about animals and humans is, they, an animal will try to fuck a pillow yeah. in front of you. He don't care. He's not, he's not embarrassed. He take a shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So he's, not, he's like, whatever. I don't know. I got to go. Yeah. Yeah. And certain people do bad things and not embarrass, like killing yeah. somebody or, or right. raping somebody. Like, yeah. how could you fucking do that? Yeah. Stealing, like. Yeah. You're not worried about how humiliated you'll be when you get caught. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of people default to those animalistic yeah. tendencies way yeah. too much. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Well, there's, uh, you know, there's levels of consciousness. Mm -hmm. And what you were talking about, Sean, earlier about, you know, the egg 
and this philosopher's idea of throughout all of these different, we live out all of these different lives. And really throughout our one life, our single life, like my life as Eben, I am constantly, my life has become about transcending these levels of consciousness. You know, like 10 years ago when I was playing football, I was in a much different level of consciousness than I am now, mm -hmm. you know, and my uh, matrix of belief and understanding were only a certain way until I had to fucking basically shatter all of that mm -hmm. so that I can move on to the next level. Right. You and know, how, I, did, how did you do that? Through a lot of pain. <laughs>